I've got, I've got, what am I snacking on here? I've got some. You got some combos. I, I, I got some combos, got some combos. but I also have some uh, Mexican cocoa. Oh, damn, here. those sound good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. except for the. Uh, no, don't accept for nothing. I don't want to hear your excited because they're buffalo combos, and then I seen blue cheese. Who the hell likes blue cheese? With buffalo wings. It's supposed to be buffalo and blue cheese. Lee, don't start your bull man. Damn. I told that chick back there that I wanted that chimichanga, and she looked at me like I was crazy. And I said, well, what do you call him? She's like, A burrito. burrito? Off my hand! Oh my Well, it's warm. It's 2 o'clock in the morning, and uh, we need to get some sleep. On I'm going to go to sleep at like 6 in the morning. Wolf Tech Nation. Thank you guys for tuning in to once again another Wolf Tech Videos episode. Another one. We are very excited you guys are here because we are fixing the tackle. See if it was a fail or a... I mean, we've got a massive amount of tools and stuff on this workbench. Mess. We're fixing to find out if it was a fail or if it was a pass on our Marzocchi Air Shaft 130 millimeter travel conversion. conversion. Right. Thank you. Yeah, conversion. Yeah. That's the word I was looking for. Did it work? Did it not? You guys are all fixing to find out. We've got it on what bike? The, the Mongoose Ledge X1. Yes, it Whatever. is definitely yeah. a Wolf Tick Diva edition. So uh, yeah, you guys just wait and see. All right. You, you guys are. watch the rep rest of this episode rest. and uh, just see what happens. There's even going to be a little bit of everybody's favorite. Wolf Man. Yes, Dino. absolutely. We're going to have yours truly over here. All right, guys. So please, without further ado, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, show your boys a little bit of love, just, and let's just, take a just look. A just a little bit. And let's take a look. At what all came uh, to get this job done or not done. All right, guys. So here we go with the parts needed for today's episode. At least I think so. Uh, definitely your boy, uh, Big Brother Kevin H. hooked us up. And old Charlie Keo hooked us up as well. Both patrons. So first thing we got is going to be the uh, replacement air shaft for a 130 millimeter travel fork. And um, this also fits with the Fox Rhythm. And this is apparently fits for a 27.5 or a 29er. So uh, of course we got the 27.5 Marzocchi over there. That has 100 millimeters of travel. And we're going to see if this guy here gets the job done to get this thing to be 130 millimeters of travel. It's going to be an interesting episode. It might be a fail. Okay. It, it possibly could be a fail. Yes, now we've got the high performance. This is the first time we're venturing into something I know nothing about. <sighs> I know. I mean, I'm fixing to get a whole bunch of crap on these comments, but that's okay. You know, we're going to put it out there. We're going to be honest. What uh, have we ever cared about the crap in the comments? Absolutely. Uh, we got the world's famous 20 weight gold high performance fork fluid. We have to use this to do an oil bath, um, apparently, right? That, I don't even know why I'm even saying an oil bath uh, with what we've got back here. And this apparently is the uh, dust wiper kit, lower friction, no flange. Our boy Charlie Keel hooked us up with. We were talking about getting this job done as soon as he saw Big Brother Kevin H send us this stuff, wanting to extend the travel. And he goes, You know what? I'm going to send you guys something. I'm going to buy you something so, so you can go ahead and yeah go your guys are going to need this so you might as well do it while you're there so we're going to be doing this as well um the, apparently these foam rings have got to sit in an oil bath so before we talk about the other thing that's what sits in oil we got a little daisy bowl here let's get this portion started because i don't want to mess up and maybe not soak I'm sure them you want to double check that real quick just make sure yeah i'm positive i'm not even going to touch them okay we're going to put them in there and I believe we only need like 20 cc's. Did you just touch them? I did. I think we only need like 20 cc's total <laughs> of the uh, Fox oil. Well, don't go crazy. Just make sure they're getting yeah, lubed oil. up. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> oh, okay. Man. Don't turn this into a how to, especially since we're done. Oh, man, I'm just talking. I don't even know, you know what I'm doing here. So we're going to let those guys soak. What else is new? Okay. Those are soaking, so oil bath is being done. Uh, now we've also got some slick oleum, some uh, light grease here. Um, and this here is supposed to, uh, it's like that old gun oil, you know, a little bit of petroleum jelly based stuff. Uh, this here is supposed to go around the air shaft and uh, you're supposed to pull around the head up here and get it nice and lubed up, okay? So apparently that's what we got for today's episode. Um, and this right here comes with a whole bunch of little O-rings and things like that. It's gonna be very interesting to try to get this thing figured out. Uh, so that's pretty much the whole kit. 
um, the total as far as the air shaft, the grease, and the Fox oil is concerned come out to about $87 sent to us by our boy Big Brother Kevin H. And we'll try to put some affiliate links to all of this stuff. And I think these here were actually decently cheap. I think this was like $10 or $13 from Charlie Keogh. Okay. So we'll try to pull all this stuff in the affiliate links in the description below, guys, for you to check out if you've got the Marzocchi Bomber or um, if you've got the uh, Fox Rhythm. But let's go and take some air out of the fork. I think that's the first Please. step, right? And then we're gonna put this thing on a bike the stand. patrons know. God, I'll tell you guys a story for all you non-patrons out there because the patrons got to see the episode. I was taking the air shaft or something out of this, uh, not this fork, a fork a long time ago. Uh, did not know, have any clue what I was doing, and I just about killed myself. Patrons yep. know all about it. It was scary. You get blown with a bunch of oil. Holy. So I've learned my lesson. So the first thing that we're going to tackle is looking at taking off the um, the dust wipers, I guess as they're called, and the flanges up here. We're going to look at taking all this stuff off, and we got to get this guy set to zero before we do so. Okay. Uh, are we safe? We are safe. We'll still take precautions. Mm -hmm. I can't watch it. I can't watch that video. Mm -mm. It's it's. It's not good. All right, another reason this freaking bike stand is awesome, the Park Tool PCS 9.3, is because you can do stuff like this. Like, who knew that we were going to be doing this one of these days, you know? Like I said, this might be a fail, but if you guys are uh, supporting the science behind the channel, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, uh, we're going to take off this rebound knob, and I guess this is the official start to something good or something really bad. You know, then the thing, if you guys remember this episode, what you guys can do is go back and, um, you know, go back and watch when we did the real-time review. Please, please. What you guys can do is uh, go back and watch the real-time review when we actually tested this fork out. And I was very happy with the 100 millimeters of travel. You were extremely happy. I was really happy you were with it. loving that fork. I was, it was really like a love affair going on. Yeah, I mean, I had thought all this time. Whoa, I don't like the mail already. I had thought I watched a lot of videos. Okay, just, I had watched all this time. Hey, uh, I can't have that with your face right there, man. Well, I don't know what to tell you. There's no air in there. Nothing's gonna blast off. So, don't do this at home. Like this. Don't do this at home. All right. So I had thought the whole time, man. The more travel, the better. But really, when I found this Marzocchi fork, no, don't don't start Marzocchi. Please. When I found this fork, I was like, holy crap. This is only 100 millimeters of travel, but it's so plush. When you found it? Well, when I started riding on it. Yeah, not when you found it. And Big Brother Kevin H was like, well, you just wait. That fork, you can set up 130 millimeters of travel, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, now I'm not sure here. I can feel the suction pulling against it. I think when I pull this thing out, I think oil is going to come out from that's the top of the bottom. You need to flip it. So, yeah. I'm really nervous. It's two of us. I was shaking, you know. Um, so this is going to be a very interesting episode. Again, not sure if this is going to work or not. Um, this is new territory. Most of the time, we know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Like most of the time, we know what to expect. This here, I'll be honest, I have no clue what to expect. You really get that, or? Yeah. I just want to keep at an angle. So when it's, if it's oil starts coming out. Uh, yeah. Okay, we got a little bit of oilage. You guys see a little bit of oil? And actually, it's it's got a little bit of dirty color to it, but it's really not terrible. Um, I know a lot of people are going to say there's a lot of things that we should be doing, but these things have been ridden on like two times. Careful, you're about to miss the bowl. Well, these things have been ridden on about three times. Okay, so... Let's go and leave that like that. And this feels really weird, you know, doing this. Yeah. And you're in here. Most of the time when I do like this, Wolfman's gone. Oh, well, yeah, it's because you do it when I'm not around. So uh, we've got the ring soaking, and they've really... That right there looks like damn sautéed onions. Is that what that looks like? Those things have taken on some oil. Yeah, those things have taken on some oil. We're fixing to take these, uh, these sills off of there. And I watched a video from Fox on how to take these off. I'm making sure Fox was very adamant, very adamant about making sure when you start to pry this that you're actually prying on the rubber and the spring inside there as opposed to the lower. It says if you scratch the lower, you are screwed. 
Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. I'd rather you wrap the edge of that with the towel. Makes you feel better, I will. Please. But I, I mean, I'm not going to have any room to work here. I can't see what I'm doing as it is. No, I'm sorry. Jeez, that right there. I'm telling you what, that was a good idea with the rag, by the way. That... Let me tell you guys something. Let me tell you something. That dude on Fox, on the video, did not say that was encased in steel. You see that, that ring of steel? That sucker right there is what I had to pry on. But the good thing is this is nice and clean. I'll show you guys inside. Because I know people will be like, oh, he marred it. That is deep. Do you guys see how clean that is? Good. Okay, now apparently there's supposed to be the dust, uh, well, the foam inside there. I thought that something didn't come with it or something. Okay, was that what, he, what the... Some people say that, yeah. Okay, well, that must be what we're talking about here. Okay, that must be what Charlie Keel was talking about, guys. Um, because, like Wolfman just said, it didn't come with it. There's no foams in here. And on the video, it wasn't a uh, Marzocchi that he was taking apart. It was another fox. Uh, apparently, it was like 170mm travel. Um, there was a foam ring directly underneath uh, the seal. So, what we're going to do is we're going to now... I'm going to get fancy. And... I got me some rubber gloves here. Dude, this is weird. This is like some scientific stuff oh, here. Lord. All right, guys. Now, uh, this is something that uh, I'm a little, little sketchy about. Is that about. the step you're supposed to be at right now? Yeah, step I'm supposed to be at. Putting that on there, okay? Now, uh, on the Fox video, Homeboy used something that looked like this, okay? And I don't know what tool. I'm sure you guys can leave it in the comments. I'm sure like Berserker and crap like that. I don't know. Uh, this is a Berserker one point. Crap like that. Yeah. What this is a. Uh, this is a 1.5 inch. This is for this is for setting crown races. Okay, on forks. He had a tool just like this that he put over it, and he used a mallet on there. And I don't know if this was meant to be or if this is actually what you use it for. I doubt it. But it fits perfectly over the spring right on to the, where it starts to put pressure on the steel ring. So I'm going to use that to stamp it in there. Isn't that cool? I mean, it's the, it's like the, it's a perfect fit. So we're going to use this. Well, Wes Graves sent us this. We're on the step now. We're going to get the oil here. This is all new oil, right? Or a little oil bath. We're going to get this oil and kind of like you do an oil filter, like Wolfman taught me. You get an oil filter and you kind of put this around the edges, you know. Yeah, you lube up the new ring, the new gasket on the new gasket there you go yeah, the we're gonna o-ring gasket we want to call it on the new filter we're gonna lube this sucker up really good with that oil that's a little pro tip for those that change your own oil always put a little for some fresh oil on your new ring okay we're gonna set that on there i wonder how many people are watching this uh at this point probably not very many well no what i mean is i'm still i'm around people watching this and going Oh, he's going to mess. You know, I'm just watching this to see him mess something up. Okay, guys. Uh, it is hammer time, and let me tell you something. I might have to leave for this. You might have to leave for this. That, there's a reason I moved the camera back, all right? Uh, we're fixing it a little bit of hammer time. Everything is lubed up. I just got to make sure we keep this level, and we got to use the mallet, and just be very careful with setting this in there. Be, emphasis on the very careful part. Very careful part. Dude, don't tell me that just went in. Okay, we're a little off on this side still. I mean, come on. Am I am I good? I'm, I'm just, you know. I'm going to tap it a little bit more because it's not completely flat. Let me use this really? tool again. You're tooting your own horn all over the place over there. Well, I mean, I'm just impressed that it actually worked. It shows people how often it does not work when yeah. you do something. I mean, that's in there pretty good. Okay, well, don't, don't damage anything. Springs aren't damaged. Springs are not damaged, neither are the rubbers. Are the rubbers. Okay, good. It's always good when you don't damage the rubber. Hey, don't need to tell me. All right, guys, that right there was nerve-wracking. Yeah, uh, I've just lost probably another year off my life. Just. I mean, that was super nerve-wracking because you got to think, man. You know, it's not like it's a it's a non-expensive fork and expensive parts, you know. And the video is riding on this, so we got those on there. Um, when I was watching the Fox uh, video of them doing this, they said to make sure that whenever you um, put them back in there, that no part of the rubber was actually lipped up. And so far, I mean, these things look really good. And not only that, but they're they're flush. 
So I'm excited about that. We now, got that done, and we've got the foams put in there. So so now we got to figure out the amount of oil. Okay, so the amount of oil is something, you know. Um, I've watched uh, the Fox video. He was dealing with a 170, and, and he said 40? if you go... Yeah, well, basically, he said if you're doing a 160, he had a couple of numbers. If you're doing a 160, you're supposed to use 30. Okay. I watched another video where a guy said he did the exact same Marzocchi, and he put... Or Marzocchi, and he put 10... Uh, 10... CCs. CCs. He put 10 CCs into the lowers. All right, guys, now that we've got the... Uh, the dust shield and the little foams put in there. Now comes the time where we need to take the air shaft out. Hey, if you guys are enjoying this episode, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Something that we've never, territory we've never gone into before, you know? Now the couple of videos that I did watch, so it was super tricky because this side here has got a weird, it's not a C-clip. I'm gonna get a precision screwdriver set and just kind of start peeling that. Do you need a close-up or do you just, I mean, cause it's not a how-to. That's what we got to get out right there. That's probably gonna be a. Do you know how many times people have watched sure. our stuff and went, how, "How is he so enamored with this and that? It's so simple." Yeah. You know. All right, let's do the pull out method. Yeah. Let's please. Let's 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 not. Okay. Well, so you patted yourself on the back, huh? <sighs> That was the pull-out method, baby. Would you stop? What? You can't stop. Well, okay. So the good news is we got that out, and that little bit of grease there, that little um, little slickum that was sent to us, um, we basically have to do that to the other one. But let's look at this air shaft compared to the other air shaft, or the brand new one we're fixing to put in there. And let's look at the size difference here. Look at the size difference. Yeah, so there's I'm about go with the thirty millimeter. There's about difference. there's about thirty millimeter difference there. <laughs> just, about thirty millimeters of difference. Cool. Okay, so we're gonna have to lube the crap out of this guy here. Stick him back in there. Um, Looks I'm just, like they went heavy on the lube. They went super heavy on the lube. Okay, lubing it up. Lubing it up. Uh, we have put lube in the affiliate links and descriptions below before. <laughs> if you guys are looking for this particular lube, uh, make sure you guys check out the affiliate links. Okay. Dang. Is oh, yeah. supposed to go all over the place? I mean, maybe. I don't know where I'll lube it up, though. Just don't drop any of that. Damn. Well, we're going to put it all over this thing here. This smells really good. Okay, good. All right, just stop. Okay. All right, here we go. Put them in there. There's just no way to do this without you doing some weird crap, is there? Oh, getting a little blowback. You guys hear it? A little bit of sputtering going on. Oh, man. It's okay. gone off the rails. All right, so that is in there. Okay, we've got a little bit of movement. C-clip is being installed. Did you hear the snap? I heard the snap. Yes. All right, I heard the snap. That was a good snap. All right, now we're going to add 10... CCs. I want to go a little bit over. That's what we're just, talking about. Yeah, smidge, o just smidge. smidge over. You know what's crazy is back in the day. When well, the, the tube's going to hold a smidge over. So you can go 10 on air with the tube. It's a little over, right? What do you mean with well, the tube? Feet. Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I'm, I'm 11. Okay. So. Um, these go up to 11. These go up to 11. Uh, what I was saying was. Back in the day, when I used to drain my ears, you know, cauliflower, I can't drain them now. Yeah, they're not soft. They're hard as a rock. They're hard as a rock. Uh, when I used to have to drain my ears, I used to get about five, six, eight cc. It depends. Yeah, it depends on what stage it was in. Yeah, what stage in the beginning. How much was, training went into it. Yeah. Everybody always goes, well, you can drain your ears? You need to drain your ears, man. So, yeah, yeah, people that don't know anything about cauliflower. You can't drain these anymore. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna tighten that a little bit. That's snug. We're gonna go to the other side. Okay, how snug should we go? Do you have torque cans going over there? I mean, is it is there a newton meter measurement to torque it to? No. I'm gonna go. I wouldn't go crazy. I can feel it spin. I can feel it grab. No, I would just. I no. don't want it to be. No, just just uh, if That's it starts good. to leak, you know you didn't go tight. That's good. Good thinking there. Okay. 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to add the rebound cap back on there. Alright, so we actually have got rebound knob is working. And the good news, I'm going to show you guys, it looks like where the stanchions meet the dust shield and all that stuff, it looks like there's nothing leaking. Alright, I'm going to make sure that oil is all circulated in there. Guys, there is no oil leaking I'll check the bottom. on the stanchions, nor is there any oil leaking out of the lowers yet. Okay, but it looks like we have got a successful job. We need to test the, we need to do it like we normally do a fork, I guess. Yeah, huh? we'll do a little Wolfman dyno. Well, we need to pump it up and need to depress, you know, do all that. Check this, check the. Ooh, that sounds good. All right, no, decompress no, it yeah, first. Yeah, decompress. Is there air at all in it? Uh, there might be a little bit. Shouldn't be. This has been quite an episode. Only the true Wolf Tick videos fans will have been stuck around. That is 131. Alright. Dude. 131. 131 millimeters of travel. We've done it! Okay. We have done it! But yeah. we still got to put on the bike. Let's machine. do the Wolfman Dino. Let's do the Wolfman Dino, guys. Wow! Okay! Or, or excuse me, let's do the... Wolfman Dino! Alright, guys. Heck of an episode so far. We're fixing to find out on the uh, Wolfman Dino just how successful the job was. I believe this is going to be, just give it a, a little baby push. Okay, as fast. All right, so we've got the fastest of rebounds right now. We've got the compression open all the way. And off. this Marzocchi is now a 130 millimeter travel fork. Wow. When I, I'm going to be so sketchy when it comes to do the real-time review on this thing and show you guys and tell you guys all about the ride feel because I've worked on it. And I just, I, this first time, you know what I'm saying? So if you guys enjoyed it, again, man, please hit that like button, that subscribe button. Uh, show your boys some love over here. We're trying new things. Again, uh, just a very big thank you to uh, Big Brother Kevin H. for sending all the parts for this. And our boy, well, old Charlie Keogh, with the dust seals and all that good stuff. Yeah, and some parts as well. All right, fastest rebound, open. Uh, uh. Wow. You can hear the oil circulating in there. Is it smooth? Yeah, it's pretty smooth. Pretty smooth. It's pretty smooth, and it pre and the progression's great. Is it's it? like yeah, because it starts off real easy, and right about here it's starting to get harder, and then there it's yeah, like it doesn't have that dead spot at all. Okay, so we're gonna go two, three, four. Let's go five clicks off the okay. fastest. Yeah, I can, I can feel tell it. it's got mm -hmm. slower. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. okay. One, two, three, four. Another five off okay. of it. And I forget how many clicks of rebound. I just remember being super impressed with this fork, yeah, and it was butter, man. Good. Okay, another uh, five, three, four, five. Okay, this might be getting pretty close to the slowest. Yeah, that's getting in, kind of in the area you like. I, I love a slow rebound. Well, that's super slow. People always think that you like it so slow it gets all messed up, but it's not true. Okay, that's the slowest. Yeah, this is the fork that you have to almost kind of ride it like that on. Huh? Yeah. yeah, I told yeah. you. Yeah, yeah this was the one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the fork where I had to ride it full slow, and I loved it. Now with the 130 yeah. millimeters of travel, I mean, yeah, yeah, it's going to be awesome. Careful, it might be close to lock out. And lock out. Uh oh. Do we lose lock out? There's lock out. Uh, Did we lose lockout? There is no lockout. Oh, hell. Did we lose a lockout? You know, lockout wasn't good to begin with, but that's horrible. It's supposed to be locked out. Oh, you know, it's full slow. Go try now. I don't think that has anything to do with it, son. What? Where's the lockout? I don't know. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm wondering if I uh, messed with turning the internal part of the rebound. And I'm thinking that maybe this is off now. Yeah, okay, so after further review. After further review. The lockout sucked on this thing to begin with. It was not really a lockout. It's more of a tight. Which I think I disagreed with you on the real-time review. You did, and everyone else jumped on board and disagreed, but I was right the whole time. And even you freaked out right now. But I don't know if I spun it or what the story was, but I just took the cap off. And I want you guys to look at this. Okay, it's open. Okay. Okay. Now. Lockout. Lockout. Yeah, so it's, it's definitely... It's locked out. Yeah. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. No...
but guys, we appreciate you watching both videos as always. Um, again, people that sent the stuff for the fork, man, thank you guys so much. Um, all right, man, well, uh, another episode done and gone, something that we've never tackled before. The thing now, and really, I'm going to be so sketchy when I ride this it's bike. It's gone, it's completed. Yeah, it's completed. Um, I'm going to really have to make sure when I ride this bike, we really put it through its paces, and then we just send it, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I guess you're going to have to do a review slash comparison more than anything. Yeah, because I really don't want this sucker to I blast I wonder if I should blind, have you blindly rated again without knowing what the original ratings were. I don't know. You know, one thing I can say, though, mm. is this sucker slacked out. Just 30 mm, millimeters like more travel. Yeah. yeah. When I steer, it's really making this top tube do this number here. Okay. You know, but... All right, guys. Well, that was another Wolf Tick Videos episode. We appreciate you guys watching. As always, please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Show your boys some love. You want to buy us a cup of coffee. Or you can send some money via PayPal. Or you can become a patron. All right? Like both yeah. these two cats well, did. Well, if you can handle you the, can handle the Patreon. But... Yes. But we got 130 travel Marzoki now. All right? We'll see you on the next episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Yeah.